and results seems to be coming in as we move straight to the markets and see what is happening there. The bulls and the bears, what is playing out this Monday afternoon. Gain as we have tantalizers, Unity Bank, M Benefit, FTN Coco, Gold Braille. We have also losers. We have uh, LLX PLC. We have John Holt. We have Academy Press, Charms, Omatech Ventures. Mr. Rutimi Fakayejo is joining me to assess the performance of the market as we start the week. Mr. Fakayejo, is a full work week, uh, not like last week that we had a day off. Uh, what is your projection and uh, what are the fundamentals likely to shape in the activities for this week? Well, um, last week, um, the market was held and there, especially towards the end of the um, trading week. And um, early today, I think um, we're having a slight turnaround from extent. And uh, it could have been much more today, if not for the um, price drop that we experienced in uh, MTN and uh, also Okomo Oil, which are both highly priced. But aside from that, the banking sector stocks also revived today, which is a good signal because whenever the market is going to move, it always starts on the banking sector. And then when it starts that way, we can always be sure that um, such movement will be sustained. So we've seen the end of uh, partial uh, profit taking, which happened Thursday, Friday. And I believe that um, investors are going to definitely have the position and they uh, know fully well that um, things are definitely going to. Um, whatever happens from now, we're going to have more sustainability than ever before. So uh, for this week, I believe that um, we definitely will be inching close to 60,000 basis points again by the time the week will be closing, as uh, most of those stocks that, uh, that lost in prices last week will definitely be, re be, re be rebanding again. So we expect that um, investors will still hold on tight. And... Um, Knowing fully well also that uh, the uh, effects of the monetary uh, policy with respect to extinguish, um, what I would say, full deregulation and um, uh, the bridging of the gap between the rates. I think that also explains us well for the market, and I believe the um, ultimate is going to help the market so much by the time invest, very important investors begin to look more closely at what is happening in our market. Well, I think there's also an auction today by the Debt Management Office. Uh, Mr. Fakaijo, are, are you aware of that? Yes. Can you take us through that? What, what is the tenure? What is expected? Do you have an idea of it? Uh, well, I don't have the full details, so okay. I'm not able to give you a full understanding of uh, what happened. Oh, but what is happening in the FX space? Let's wrap up on that note generally. Hey, I think uh, for now there is stability and uh, there is... Uh, the projection or the uh, forecast that we're going to have it coming down slightly. And by the time that begins to happen, we're going to see more activities all around the economy. It's an interesting one there. Thank you so much, Mr. Fakai. John, do have a profitable week.